Welcome to the channel. Today we are exploring a fascinating topic in the field of electronic warfare. Uh, this is used. The topic is spot jamming. Yesterday a video was posted on this channel. A similar video was there. Okay, and uh, this is uh, specific. It is uh, more specific. So the topic is a uh, spot jamming. And yesterday's video was about anti-jamming technology and today it is jamming technology and there are so many types of jamming techniques used nowadays such as spot jamming is there, sweep jamming is there, again barrage jamming is there. So in this video we are going to discuss only about spot jamming. Sport, sport jamming is very specific. It jams a very specific frequency or a narrow band of frequencies either narrow band of frequencies or a particular frequency a specific frequency it can jam in case of spot jamming what occurs i am just stating that thing okay so uh, what is the purpose why a specific jamming first of all uh, what is done by using the jamming devices Say there is a radar and uh, we want to, means our aircraft want, wants to evade that radar. Okay, so, to make our own passageways. So what is the requirement? First of all, the requirement is our system, means jamming system, jammer. Our jammer should detect the frequency used by that radar. That is the first task of the uh, sport jammers. Okay, detection of the uh, adversary's frequency, and accordingly, after knowing means after identifying that frequency, the device jams only that frequency. That means what happens? Jams means what? Jams means the jammer sends out signal to the environment with the same with the same exact value means exactly the same frequency signal with exactly the same frequency is sent out to the environment so what happens that means what happened here right now the adversary's frequency and our jammer's frequencies are same so in that case receiver must struggle to differentiate between the uh, between our signal and that radar signal means adversary's radar signal or enemy's radar signal okay because frequencies are same so the receiver won't be able to distinguish between these two types of signals because frequencies are same And since a receiver uh, cannot differentiate between the two, uh, then that means a receiver cannot analyze the presence of our aircraft. I am just uh, here giving you one example of aircraft. Situation may be many types. Many types of situations may exist. Okay. And the question is why sport jamming is used? Because uh, in case of we can. We have other jammer, jamming technologies by using we can uh, jam all the possible frequency, frequencies, okay, all the possible frequencies. We can use sweep jammer, we can use uh, barrage jammer. Here the target is not to jam all the communication system. When uh, your intention is just to uh, jam or just to interfere with the system, with a particular system. But you are, uh, your intention is to allow other things to remain the same. Means you don't want to disrupt the other systems surrounding you. Okay, in that case, spot jamming is used. Only in that case, spot jamming is used. Means you are allowing other systems to work well without any interruption 
your interest is to jam only a particular frequency or you want to evade your system from a particular target and that's why you are first detecting the signal uh, frequency of that target and accordingly you are sending out signal uh, to the environment with the same frequency but problem is there you are doing this thing okay no problem you are using spot jammer okay but enemies or the adversaries they may use uh, frequency hopping that means intermittently or very fast they can change their uh, operational frequencies means they are using frequency hopping techniques so in that case yes in that case there is arrangement there is element sport jammers can also do the same thing but if the enemies or the adversaries uh, frequent the rate of frequency hopping is too fast in that case there is a problem with sport jammers in that case there is a problem with the sport jammers no doubt if it is too fast if rate is too fast okay but there is a chance that uh, adversaries radar system they are using a frequency hopping so in such a case you can use other uh, techniques okay again uh, frequency agile systems are also there existing in case of sport jamming anyway oh, i am not uh, going to discuss all those things but techniques are available okay you can also uh, detect the changing frequencies of the target and accordingly you can take the counter measure okay but uh, this is not a so easy task you might face problems in doing those things but technologies are there it depends on the uh, it depends on the difference between the technologies of their and uh, our technology maybe their technology is uh, more robust than ours in that case we must fail so uh, this was all about uh, this today's topic was about uh, sport jamming techniques uh, which is used in case of electronic warfare anyway so uh, anyway so this is the end of this video thank you thank you for watching this video